Hello everybody and welcome to another Worms Reloaded episode between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap recorded on the 18th of May and we're starting off today with a pond map and a load of crap will be the first to manoeuvre here with even spread of worms pretty much. Deathwish got one up high which uh, probably is not going to get into the action much so Oh crap has got that as an advantage as he lines up his first shot here. Interesting to see what he's going to do though because he has got two worms on the yeah. other side around Deathwish Worms. So he may have to take a sacrifice uh, if he uh, is going to play this. We're going to go for the worm on the bottle. Got to be careful of that mine though. If he does, it's going to drop down. Well, it goes into the water so that's uh, oh. a pretty good shot in that respect. So best outcome maximum damage yeah. on Deathwish's worm and only three hit points of damage yeah, on his own. Shouted. Past me, I would have been in the drink. Moving on now to Deathwish. And where is he going to play here? Uh, Not sure which worm of his is in play. Is it the one on the far left? It is the one on the far uh, left. It took me a while to see it which one was moving. Okay. But uh, you can All imagine right, he's so going to uh, bring well, his worm onto the bottle, perhaps. Or the wind is with him, so we can use the bazooka. But we're going to see an attack on this bottom right worm. There it goes. Direct hit. <laughs> Onto the barrels as well, some big air time and finishes off in the drink. I think the worm was dead before it even hit the water. But Deathwish there takes the early advantage, four worms to three as a load of crap now. It's the opportunity to move his worm out of the way. Now what's he going to do here? He's probably going to go on top of the... I thought he might go on top of the bottle there. He's not. I think it looks like he's going to go for... This worm here to get rid of a death wish. Going to be some explosion damage from the barrel though. I think it's minimal to his worm and the death wish. He's lucky with the fire there. The fire just sort of drifted over the top of that 97 worm there in the sort of um, right hand side of the left hand side. I know that sounds a bit weird, but yeah. Um, so lucky with the three damage there, but it levels the playing field now with three on three with death wish now to attack. Will he try and just put a grenade behind a logo? I don't think there's enough room, so it's a good shot. Wasn't able to get behind him. If he'd been able to get behind him, he should have been able to like yeah, propel man. the worm out towards the water. This, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case in this instance. Yeah, this damage. <laughs> and it's probably about the best he could have done in that. But now we're going to see a retaliation uh, shot here from a load of crap. What can he do here? Can he bring these mines and barrels into play here? Uh, going for the grenade, which is probably going to be the, the better option here. Gonna now that's going to make some movement on that mine. Watch what that mine's going to do here. Oh, and it just yes. rolls over the wrong yes. way for a load of crap. That's really unfortunate. But uh, maximum damage there on Deathwish's worm. If it have, uh, the mine had rolled to the right instead of the left, of course, that would have caused some really, really big damage. Now Deathwish's high worm here, not going to be able to get into the action very much here. Unfortunately. So I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to try and do what we've seen a load of crap do in the past, where just sort of trying to widen right, up this uh, area at the top, or is he looks like he's going to throw a grenade? So maybe not. We've seen a load of crap when he's had worms at the top, like I said, uh, sort of using that bazooka and opening up areas at the top to sort of give himself a bit more space to work with. Uh, Deathwish, I think he is going to do that. He's switched back to the bazooka now. Okay, now Minimal damage, now but now um, yeah, that worm's pretty safe up there from like aerial attacks, but you've yeah, got to think uh, we'll a bazooka shot box. directly we're underneath that worm is going to drop it straight in the drink, so I don't think that worm, of, that worm, that worm of death wishes will last for much longer in this contest, so a low crap now tries to backflip oh, out of this area and does, and I think he's going to attack that worm right now, so this could be the end. And indeed it is. Yeah. The wind pushed it a little bit to the right, but there was still enough radius damage there to take out all of the uh, floor underneath Deathwish there. And a load of crap brings it to a three on two in his favor. Well, let's see. Let's see what Deathwish is going to do here. The wind is against him to go for a cross map shot with a bazooka. So he's going on the bottle. I think he's going to drop. Is he going to cross a map grenade this, I think, yeah, possibly? Me, it uh, looks like it at the minute. I don't have time. I'll check it on your turn. No, he's going to go for the worm directly below him. 
and uh, there we go straight on the worm don't think it's going to open up enough of an area but it does actually fly him out the the air cake goes to show what i know i didn't think it was going to be enough to um to do anything but no death wish gets the air time and he brings it back to a two on two so almost back to the beginning with two worms here uh load of crap is going to retaliate on that worm grenade straight down be careful though he might be just outside the radius here of this explosion uh, not quite but again good shot from a load of crap and sends death wish 808 flying and it's now two on one death wish down to a single worm with only about half health so it's got to be really careful here because also you got to keep in mind that this worm he's about to attack here is the worm next to play for a load of crap so it's going to get very interesting in these next couple of shots as we Almost seem to come to the end. The grenade rolls just a little bit too far away from a load of crap. Now, you'd have to assume he's going to pull out the bazooka here and just bazooka it. And if the shot is lucky enough, he may be able to send Deathwish into the drink here. So, let's watch this. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't use the bazooka. There we go. And, of course, you've got mines on top of there. The mine might come into play. So, again, keep an eye on what is happening on top of that boot. The bazooka shot is out. It's fired. And there we go. No, Deathwish, I think, has found some pixels. Oh, but on, then he falls to his death. There we go. A load of crap takes the first match. Yeah. And that's what I thought might happen. So let's see what happens in match yeah, number two. Oh, shit. Okay, so we are about to get away here in match number two, which is an inside map this time. And Deathwish is going to be looking to get a retaliation for uh, match well, we number did, one we, and we a load of crap to start us off once again <laughs> the worms are pretty much evenly spread although a load of crap does have three on that right hand side and the solitary worm on the left here so see what he can do he's going to go for a grenade it seems in between that worm and that barrel now, uh, but death wish is uh, on the chat here there we go. The grenade hits the yeah, barrel uh, and the worm for 71 uh, damage. So uh, extra damage there acquired. Wasn't quite enough to kill him though. So let's see what so, Deathwish yeah, can now so do now from now an now aerial now assault now point of view. We've got to assume he's going to attack this worm straight down to the left here. But we can only see what he's going to do. Swear that I there are a few mines around on this, looking towards this right, while Deathwish is just uh, doing some bits and pieces a minute. There are some mines uh, quite scattered around, around the center and right-hand side of the map, so we might be seeing some uh, almost plinko action as Deathwish is going to actually attack on the right-hand side, probably trying to loop a bazooka shot just over this brolly and onto that 100 worm on the turf there, does indeed. It dislodges the mine, takes some damage on his own worm. There is still a mine pinging around. It's been triggered. Or was it a dud? I think it was a dud. Yep, it hasn't gone off. It was triggered and it hasn't gone off. So, yeah, a load of crap's worm is dead and Deathwish's worm is also dead. The death animation there knocking Deathwish's worm into the fire and any remaining health is going to now have been taken away. So, two worms down, but we are still three on three in the early stages of match number two here with a load of crap now to play. Has he got the high worm or the low worm? It is the low worm. Now you'd think he's just going to try and get a grenade or a bazooka just over the top of that bottle. He's going for high ground. I'm not sure he needs it. But uh, I think we could see some big damage here if he's going to go for this shot. Doesn't need a lot of power, the bazooka. But that worm is right next to a mine, which is also next to a barrel. So let's just watch here, see what happens. And he catches the mine, and unfortunately, the uh, remnants of that shot don't actually land anywhere near Deathwish. And he's only able to take 15 damage, which I'm sure he's going to be a little bit disappointed with. As Deathwish now with this worm on far left. What can he do? Can he place a shot which will move a load of craps worm off them those golf, golf balls either towards the mine moving it towards the barrel isn't really going to do much at this point so let's see what he can do just wants a nice little up and over the wind is slightly against him so he's got to think he needs he can't have too shallow an angle here or else the wind will just um, completely destroy where it is going and he's readjusted quite just there as i thought he might 
Go He's actually uh, changing and opting out to go to grenade now. Probably a safer option. We're almost out of time. He was down to three. And I think that was a bit of a panic shot. And uh, Deathwish is down to two. He has uh, committed suicide on that worm, unfortunately. I think he was deciding what to do there for a long time. And then as the clock was running out, he, he kind of panicked that shot. Only three seconds left on the shot clock. And unfortunately, he has lost another worm. So advantage, a load of crap. There's now a load of crap on top of the barrel. And he's going to go for bazooka shot, I think. He's going to attack the worm in the middle. Let's see what plays out here, though. Unfortunately, that part of the action actually froze, and there was nothing on the recording, so I'm not really sure what happened in that turn, but it looks like all the worms are still on the same health they were previously to the shot, so whatever a load of crap played there, unfortunately, um, didn't work out for him. But we're back with Deathwish now, who retaliates with a bazooka shot, but it wasn't the most accurate of shots. Only 35 damage, so he actually dropped 10 uh, hit points there. Which is um, surprising. It was uh, a pretty easy shot to pull off, so not the sort of thing you would expect. But now we're back with a load of crap with the low left worm here, and it's going to be attacking this central worm. See if you can bring some of these mines into play against Deathwish 808. Let's see what the outcome will be as he's positioning the shot. Can't use the bazooka because the wind is against him. Two seconds on the grenade timer. It's up. It's stuck, and there we go, and oh, Deathwish yeah. has landed on the mine, he's sent back flying the other way. Nice. Was it enough to kill him? Oh, it was, 103 damage. Go What's going to happen to a load of crap's worm, though? Oh, okay, he got away with that one. Wasn't quite enough to propel him far uh, enough far to the right onto that mine, but Deathwish down to a solitary worm now, and it's a three-on-one for a load of crap. As soon as I saw that Deathwish had got enough damage to kill that worm, though, I was very worried for a load of craps. I did think he would fly off to the right towards that mine, but like I say, he was just enough as Deathwish tees up a grenade nicely just to the side, and a load of craps worm is in the drink, pulling it back to a two-on-one situation. A load of crap now with the worm on the high right. Has he got any angles on Deathwish's worm? You'd think from here he'd be able to hit it pretty easily. The wind is with him, but I think he will choose to go to a... Uh, a grenade shot as opposed to a bazooka, but we'll see. The angle might be a little bit too shallow for a bazooka. He's pulled it out though, he's going to give it a go. Little power, and he's going for a high angle here. Nice shot, nice shot indeed. It was uh, a little bit short, but enough to get a good chunk of damage. Uh, Two thirds of his the worm's remaining health there was taken away. Shots left. Deathwish is going to be looking for the retaliation oh, shot now, and glory. if he can hit that barrel, he could be in for some big damage here. Wind is against him, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's only a one wind, so not going to affect the shot too much. As he shoots, hits the barrel. I think it was only 19 damage, though. Yeah, it was. It was um, a relatively disappointing shot. I think a load of crap may have just been out of harm's way with that explosion. You would always expect a little bit more damage when you're hitting a barrel. It's sort of like a bit of a damage multiplier, but uh, no, not in this instance. There's a load of crap now with the left hand worm. Doesn't have a lot of options. But if you can maybe get a grenade in between the bottom of that golf, golf shoe center and the, on the area on the floor, he could make a, a, an entrance or a passageway down to Deathwish. Not this time, but if he could get another shot with that worm, then you've got to think he's going to open that up for some potential grenade attacks on Deathwish from the left-hand side. So watch this space as Deathwish now re-attacks with the worm on the right-hand side. And, you know, it was a little bit too high. It felt like a bit of a rush shot from Deathwish. So, unfortunately, not able to make any solid impact on a load of crap's worm. Still with 70 health. And it is that worm that gets to play next. You'd think if the wind was with him, which is not unfortunately, it's two against him. I mean, not an impossible shot, but it looks like a load of crap's worm here has been wedged in. Oh no, he manages to get free. It looked like that and that previous explosion from Deathwish had wedged the worm into that gap, but no, he is able to break three. Okay, that was a good shot from a load of crap. Another 30 health off Deathwish's worm, leaving it down to 25, so Deathwish now in one hit range, and a load of crap could be taking this 2-0 oh, 
any moment soon. Death Wish now retaliation. He's uh, it's a, again, it just wasn't enough power. I don't know. Death Wish just seems to be rushing his shots. I'm sure he hasn't given up yet, but I was just about to say, Jeff Wish's only hope at the moment was that he had two shots on that worm at the right, and then that would have made it a lot more difficult for a load of crap to retaliate. A load of crap now looking for the same sort of shot and does manage to get it. A little bit further to the left, though, this time. Now, will the mine make its way out? It will. And that kills Death Wish off. What a finale. Good shot from a load of crap. Brings the mine into play, quite luckily. And a load of crap takes these matches at the minute. 2 0. Can Death Wish pull it back in the next one? Let's find out. Okay, it is time for match number three. And we are back to a pond match with the right side. Heavily populated with Deathwish 808. There's not many mines and things. There's quite a few barrels on this right side. The mines seem to be more on the left. So let's see how this plans it pans out. As for the first time tonight, Deathwish gets to go first. And looks like he's just simply going to drop a load of crap straight into the water. And straight off the bat, drop it down to a four on three. Very close there, though, to not dropping that worm on top of his worm, which would have... Uh, catastrophically dropped that one into the drink a load of crap here you got to think he's gonna go for the worm that has got three barrels surrounded around him but you know you never know what might happen here it's not a dead cert but it definitely looks like he is going for it he's too big of an opportunity to pass up be careful though that he does have a worm below and the fire just knocks his worm to the right at the moment. Doesn't, however, knock Deathwish's worm into the water, which is surprising. Just watch that fire, though. Bottom right, right above a load of crap's worm. That could be uh, quite catastrophic for that worm. It's going to drop any moment, probably, at the end of this turn. So keep an eye on that right-hand side as Deathwish now, back over on the left, is going for a bazooka shot at the worm directly to his left. And you come down on the mine. Splatter damage I'm is going, going to, to be far away. enough away oh, from any impact, but that wasn't that able to mean. use the mine. There was that's an opportunity. Really oh, there we go. That's Death Wish is <laughs> triggering off the mine in an attempt to sort of cause a bit more damage to a load of crap. Actually ends up damaging his worm by 92 health points. However, a load of crap once more has got fire above his worm. Watch out for the fire. Uh, Fire is still burning on the right hand side though, hasn't dropped down to a load of crap's guns. worm yet, I'm very surprised about that. But he's uh, got two worms here which are surrounded by fire which yeah, isn't particularly good. That. Will a load of crap go for the easy shot and finish off the one below him? It doesn't look like it, he's going for a cross map shot. Probably the middle right worm I think is the one he'll be targeting here. If he can get enough power on it, the wind is slightly against him but it's not going to make too much of a difference. Uh, he switched out to the grenade, so he's maybe thinking he wouldn't make it across the map. It's gone. There we go. Behind it. And doesn't quite... There we go. The fire is gone. And a load of crap actually got pretty lucky with that. He managed He managed to bounce out. And I think if he'd have bounced down once more, he would have been uh, found himself in the water. Will Deathwish try and attack that one? Or will he go cross map for the worm on the golf ball? I think it's going to be the latter. A bit undecided, though. He's not sure. Just trying to think it out. <laughs> yeah. There's just a couple that are more obvious than others. <laughs> okay. Still uh, undecided, but it uh, looks like now he is going to go for this worm below him, try and drop him in the drink. And there we go. He has done indeed. It's now a four on two in Deathwish's favour. Deathwish is looking on top now for the first time in the set of matches tonight. does have two worms, however, which are pretty much in one hit range here. And you've got to think a load of crap is going to do a cross map shot bottom left, bottom right, sorry. And there he goes. And even if the explosion doesn't kill him, the drink will. And there is a mine explosion as well that went off there, which damages a load of crap for 41. But we are down to three on two. We have Deathwish now playing with the high worm going to surely attack the bottom left goes a little bit too low the wind probably just pushed that down a little bit too much he probably could have got a bit more angle though he could have gone a little bit higher with that shot but opted not to 
So a load of crap now. Going to play with the high left worm. Surely just going to drop a grenade straight down and bring it down to a two on two. And it's going to be a game of cross map shenanigans now as we have Deathwish on the right and a load of crap on the left. But at the minute you would have to say a load of crap is the one who is on the back foot. Surely Deathwish is going to target what is left of the golf balls here and try and knock a load of crap's worm into the drink. Opting to go for grenade over bazooka though which is interesting because he's got three win with him but obviously thinks he'll get a better result he's going to try and go behind i think he might just be too far away from the worm though unfortunately so yeah that's uh, unfortunate for death wish he's not going to be able to attempt that shot again either because he has taken away quite a bit of the uh, surrounding area of that worm so he won't be able to curve the grenades around to try and uh, take away that rest of that golf ball there but Let's see what happens. It's a load of crap now with the 55 worm. Can he go high? I think he's. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go high. He'll be going low with this shot. He's going to. Deathwish's worm in the top right is in a very good position. It's very sheltered, and it's not going to be very easy at all for a load of crap to hit him. But there is a good effort there. Tries to knock him down off his perch, but takes a good chunk of uh, the area below him out. So another shot like that and. Definitely drop that worm down, but this time a load of crap is uh, going to be facing a bazooka shot from Deathwish 808, who sends a load of crap's worm further over to the right. It's solid ground. Down to 18. So it's 84 and 59, plays 48 and 18. 66. Against 143, a death wish. I hope so. Well, I'm positioned for a takeoff. Load of crap here is going to try and get a grenade behind the 59 worm of death wish here, just to see if he can propel it into the water. I think it's gone a little bit too low though, unfortunately. Wasn't able to get behind it, and uh, the timer wasn't bad. One one less second in that position would have done some serious damage. However wasn't to be as Deathwish now probably going to be trying to put a grenade behind this 18 worm or somewhere around the 18 worm with a two second timer actually takes out the worm above not the worm I thought he was going for probably not the worm he was going for but it kicks up off the side and still a good chunk of damage 27 and 18 now a load of craps worms high worm to play here will he have another stab if the wind is with him at Deathwish's high right worm Got the wind. Sorry, I apologise. It is the I lower worm, not the, the high wind. one. I just don't have the angle. Looks like he's going to try and float a shot into the 59 worm here. He's not going. He's not got a high enough angle there to attack the high worm. I don't think. I am lower, and that creates. Yeah, it's going to create a problem. No, that. Busy calculating, changing his mind. Not really sure what to do here. Only 15 left on the shot clock. He's got to really make a decision. Changes out to grenade last minute here. Just the angles as we enter the final ten. <laughs> Throws the grenade with five to go. Good shot from a load of crap. Bounces around in that hole a little bit, but eventually settles next to Deathwish's worm for maximum damage plus one. And let's see what Deathwish can now do in retaliation. It's high worm, but the wind isn't with him. I don't think he's really got an option here with a bazooka. But I don't really think he's got an angle either to throw a grenade. So it's a bit of a catch-22 here for Deathwish. Let's see what he can do. He is switching to grenade though, which is the wise option. Wasn't just wasn't quite able to bounce it off there. If he had bounced it off the brolly, maybe with a bit of a longer timer, he may have been able to get some damage. Because what well, Lodicraft's got to be very wary of here is both of his worms were right together. So a well-placed shot from Deathwish could have actually killed both of them. But we are back with a load of crap now. You've got to assume he's going to finish off this low right worm of Deathwish to bring it to a two on one. Having been, that's a good shot, maximum damage, and flicks him up and over and into the pond. Good shot indeed. But having Deathwish having been in such a commanding position early on in this map, a load of crap has really brought this one back. Now, can Deathwish finish this off with a bazooka shot? The wind is with him. So whether or not he can get the, the shot to stay high enough whilst avoiding the ceilings. And he's taken one out. We are down to a one-on-one. -on -one. 
So it is eight, no, sorry, 19 on the left for a load of crap played. Deathwish, which I think 84 on the right. A load of crap in one shot kill territory. But Deathwish is dangerously high on that platform there. I don't think a load of crap, unfortunately, though, this shot is going to play out a much for him. As he can do some trickery with the grenade. The, the angles and the wind are definitely not with him here from where this worm is positioned. But it goes across and yeah, he hits the ceiling and it's straight into the drink, unfortunately. So Deathwish, is the wind going to be with him? Can he capitalize? He has got two wind, so if he can just... Same shot as last time, same wind as last time. Just needs to adjust the angle a little bit more to see if he can get a little bit more height out of it. And he will take the final match here. Takes his time, he lines up the shot, it's gone across... Perfect, 19 damage on the 19 worm, a load of crap. This worm is dead and the series wraps up two in one in a load of crap's favour. Thank you very much for watching as always guys, we'll be back with more matches real soon. But until then, thank you, I've been Nock, you've been awesome, happy gaming.